Oh, hello, welcome. Hello, Thelma. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. Hello, Doris. Okay. Brenda, Hi. Rolando, and Carla. Thank you. Welcome. I hope you had a great weekend. Did you enjoy? Hi, huh, Thelma. Did you enjoy your weekend? No, teacher. <laughs> no. Was, was very hard. I. <laughs> I was working in clean. Uh, is I had to clean my 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 house. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. All but, week, right? All but week. now I, I'm right. <laughs> but now you're right. Now you're good. Yes. 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 Okay. Well, that's great. That's great. Let me see. We have, he will begin here shortly. Let me just get the attendance here. Some other computer over here. All right. Okay. I hope everyone had a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me see. Mm. Let me share screen. Okay. Can you see my screen? Good evening, teacher. Can you hear yes, me? Yes, teacher. Yes, Carlos, I can hear you. Okay, thank you, Tenma. Okay, we have here, we're still continuing with unit two. And let me see. Can you read, please, Tenma? Okay, teacher. Unit two. Logistics, expressions of uncertainty, speak, speaking activity, breakout, extra time for presentation. Okay, can you um, read breakout rooms? Can you see the, the whole screen? We can, oh. Please, a moment. Okay. I don't read this this word. Okay. Can you see it? I look speak activity breakout. Breakout room. And, and then extra extra time for presentation. Ah, no puede ver lo que dice. No. Breakout rooms. Okay, no let me see. Carlos, can you see la palabra breakout rooms in the presentation? Breakout rooms. Can you see yes. it? Yes. La puede ver la break, palabra? Yes. Break, breakout rooms. Okay. Is, is when you go to the oh. room. No, I'm not asking, uh, excuse me, Carlos, I'm not asking for the definition. I was asking if you could see it, si la puede ver en la pantalla. Yes, I can. Yes, okay, I can. all right, thank you. Okay, that's what I was uh, asking for, because I don't think Thelma can see it, right? And I want to make sure that yes. if you... I only, I only watch speaking activity break out, and then extra time for presentation. Okay, only. all right. That's... And then Monday, November 15, 2021. Teacher, Mr. Henry, intermediate four, class number 10. Okay, thank you, Thelma, thank you. All right, Neftali, 
Eh, can you see the whole screen? Usted puede ver toda la pantalla, Naftali. All the way. Yes, okay. teacher. Yes, okay. Thank yes, teacher. You. I can see a breaker brand. Okay, thank you. I just want to make sure if it was me or, or or something that was wrong with the screen. All right. So if you if everyone else can see it, uh, I guess we can continue. All right, thank you. Let me see. All right, class. So today is Monday, right? We're going to begin and continue with unit two in, in, in relation to logistics. We will cover a page if we have time. We probably will with expressions of uncertainty. It's a small activity. Uh, it's on page 20, 22, I believe, right? 22. And we are also going to do page 21. And we are going to do some speaking activities if we have time also. And I'm going to give you extra time to get more to get more into this right here. Let me show you better. Instead of just speaking, I can show you here. Okay, on Friday, I showed you this, right? And today I'm going to give you extra time so you can prepare a little bit more and give you time here in class so that way you don't waste your, your, your free time, right? You can do it here and start preparing. I'm going to give you time, maybe about 20 minutes to start uh, working on your presentation. And tomorrow we will continue also. And then on Wednesday, um, tomorrow I will select the, the, the two groups. I already have like three people who have told me that they want to go first. And that was Freddy, Blanca and Alvin, right? And one that told me for Thursday, which was Carla. So, but before we go to this, let's, let me do something real quick. Let me start by doing the attendance, all right? The attendance, you see Monday. Okay, Abigail, Abigail. Okay, not here. Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. Okay, Jackie, welcome. Let me see, Brenda, okay. Carlos. Good evening, teacher, I'm here. Okay, thank you. Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present. Edwin. Present. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right, Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Here, teacher. All right, great. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, she's not here. It is. It is. She's not here. Jackie. Present. All right, thank you. Jarvin. Jarvin. Okay, he's, he's not here. Oh, yeah, he's, he's not here. He cannot hear me. Let me see. Jennifer. Jennifer. Okay, she's not here. Juan Jose? Juan Jose? Okay, he's not here also. Carla? Okay, thank you. Let me turn off your microphone. Thank you. All right. Let me see. Miguel? Miguel, okay, he's not here. Neftali. Neftali. All right, great. Uh, Rolando. Hello, hello. Hey, all right, welcome. Let me see. Telma. Telma. All right, I see you, Telma. Thank you. No problem. Let me see. Yanari. I'm here. All right. Let me see, and Alvin, Alvin, okay, he's not here, all right, let me see, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twen
12, 14, plus me should be 15. All right, great. Let's continue. All right. Blanca, did you see, did you manage to see, have time to see the movie? Sorry, teacher. Did you have time to watch it? Wind Talkers? No, I, I wasn't being home. Okay, all right. So I wasn't have time. I didn't have time. I didn't have time. Very good, perfect. Very good. Edwin, what about you? Did you have time? Actually, I, I don't. <laughs> Uh, okay. I, I, did, I didn't have a time, but All right. tomorrow is my day off. I, I <laughs> All, right. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. All right. Thank wanted you for sending it, but I forgot the name. All right. Let me see. I'm going to leave it there for about a week more, and then I'm going to take it off. All right. Because it's taking a lot of space. It's like almost two gigabytes. Where, teacher? Huh? No, I heard, remember I had mentioned that whoever wanted to watch the movie, I was going to send them the link, and I downloaded the movie to my Google Drive, but it's almost uh, two gigas, right? It's, a, it's, it's heavy, so I'm going to leave it there for about one more week. Next weekend, I will take it out. Send me the link for tomorrow. All right, tomorrow. I'll, I'll send it to you. Great. Right. I'll, I'll leave it there to next weekend, and then I'll take it off. It's taking a lot of space. Let me see. All right, let me see. Mm. All right, let me see. Okay, class. So we are going to begin on page. Um, what page is this? Page 20? If I'm not mistaken, right? Page 20. Okay, page 21. I'm sorry. Page 21 on your module. Now, okay, the, did anyone did anything interesting this weekend? Anyone have any any news? Any updates? Anyone? Anything they want to share with the class? No? Nothing? All right. Well, let's begin with the with on page twenty one. Page twenty one. Okay. Can you begin read, please? Can you begin to read, please, Freddy's? Yeah. And I will be able to. Mm -hmm. Okay, sketch a basic plan to select a 3PL provider. Okay, so this is just a little review of what 3PL, right? Um, yes. Does someone remember what 3PL means? Does someone remember what 3PL means? It's a third party logistic. Very good. Thank you, Fred. It's perfect. Perfect. All right. Um, can you continue? Let's start. Yes, let's start. How do you pick the right 3PL for your business? Find the most important. You say, do I say it in Spanish? Criteria? No, cri criteria. 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 Yes. To decide on the right TPL. All right. Now, yeah. that's something that you're probably going to analyze if you're going to talk about a 3PL in your own presentation, right? So we've we've talked about it before, right? It's up to you to decide which one will be the best for you, right? For your business. Is it um, inbound, outbound, or 
third party logistics, right? And what just, just out of the blue, can someone give me some kind of information in relation to that question? How do you pick the right 3PL for your business? How do you think you choose it? How do you select it? What are some of the criteria that you have to analyze in order to select the proper or the, the most prosperous 3PL for your business? How, how will you do that? Is it based on price or, or what? What do you think? Analyze it and tell me. Sure, I think the price is uh, very important, but in, in the TPL, it's much important that uh, the service with our client or customer. All right, well, that's great. Very good, Iris. Let me write your name down. Thank you, thank you, Iris, for for your participation. All right. Anyone else? All right. Thank you. So I'm asking the class, what what do you think? Give me something, right? This is critical thinking. This is not here. Do not. The answer is not there. The answer is in your own mind. How will you choose? I think Edis gave a great, great, uh, great analysis. Thank you, Edis. All right. Low price, the one that gives uh, best service to the customer, and the one that's always on time, and maybe the one that has insurance. Ah, all right, the one that has insurance, very good, right? The one that is able to, in case one of their workers decides to throw something in the water, right? And they come and find them, they're insured to where they don't pay a million dollars, right? Yeah. <laughs> For contaminating the waters so or the lakes, right? or anything of that nature. Yeah, insurance, or maybe an accident, right? There could be an accident in, in, on the road, and or there could be an accident at sea, or by air, right? Or anything like that, right? Excellent, very good, very good point. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna write your name down, Fredis. All right, thank you, Fredis, for your cooperation. Anyone else, anyone else that would like to give me their their critical thinking or their critical analysis based on this question. How will you pick? How will you select? Anyone else? Teacher, I think you can select third party logistic based on the volume you manage. For ah, example, if, good. for example, if you for example, if you contract the freight, for example, uh, to send your product to San Miguel, but you are sending, for example, one cent a week or two, is most cheaper, is is cheaper to contract their part of logistics than doing it by yourself. Ah, very good, very good, right? It might be cheaper, right? It, sometimes it can be, right? Because sometimes a third party, third, uh, a third party logistic, um, what, whatever they do, whatever service they provide, right? Sometimes it's cheaper because they have so many clients that their prices are very convenient. So uh, unlike if you do it yourself, you have to pay the person, pay gas, blah, 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 and all these different things. And you might be more secured and you don't have to worry about anything if you, yeah, good point, Neftali. Excellent, all right, excellent. Depending on the volume, very good. Very good analysis, very good points, right? Thank you, Iris, Fredis, and Eftali. Anyone else that would like to be added to this list? Francisco, let me ask Yes, teacher, I have a question. Yes. Uh, for example, what, what happened when you select a, a one third party but the good have a uh, damage in the transit. Okay, remember that uh, it was just like Freddy's mentioned, right? 
with insurance. Do I didn't mention insurance? The majority of third-party logistics have one or two insurances, right? One for damaged goods and one for stolen. Digamos que los paran y le roban el cargo, right? Yes. They, yes. they have they have different types of insurance. They're called coverages, different coverages, right? For the most part, you can get almost a hundred percent if the product is stolen and if it's damaged, they repair the goods to either mm -hmm. either either for the price or to get it repaired. For example, if there's some dents or something in the product, or maybe partial. Maybe if you're selling, if you're sending, for example, um, tomatoes. Let's say a, a crates of tomatoes, right? Like, like Neftali yes. mentioned about volume, right? So let's say I send all these crates, ta -ta, stack of tomatoes, right? But during the ship or during the, on a turn on the street, or whatever, he's going too fast, and one of the crates falls, and other tomatoes crush, or they squash, right? And okay. you lose one crate. The, insur the insurance that a lot of third-party logistics have is that if you have damaged goods, they will replace that one crate, whatever the price is for that crate of tomatoes, right? Okay. However, obviously, this, this is an additional cost. Yes. Normally, it is. Right. Oh, okay. Normally it is, mm -hmm. or in some cases it's already included in the price. It's already oh, okay. Right? For example, they must say, okay, two hundred dollars to take your product. Everything is included, so they can say, okay, insurance included, damage is included, uh, whatever. If it's stolen merchandise, they will cover it. Those types of things. Even even some might give you. Um, like, for example, like a refund in partial payment if they are delayed. Let's say you need to send a product and they're waiting for it at, at like Neftali mentioned San Miguel, right? Let's say I'm here and he tells me, okay, Monday, first thing in the morning, I buy el camion, right? The, the truck is coming. <laughs> so I'm waiting Monday and I hire someone else to, to come pick it up. Right, because yes. now I'm going to send it from San Miguel to Guatemala. Let's just say, right? I'm going. I'm going to buy the product from Neftali, but I'm going to sell it, or I'm going to sell some of it to Guatemala. So I call someone to come Monday also, right? But for example, let's say the truck has mechanical failures, okay. or a flat tire, or something, right? And they're taking like five hours to change it, or a motor, or whatever, right? And the, I'm waiting for the truck, and I call Neftali. Hey, it's already two in the afternoon. What happened, right? And or a third party, the company for third party logistics tell me, don't worry about it. We're going to refund you some of the money that you spent on the other truck. Remember, I, I hired someone else to come pick it up. So some okay. companies also cover extra expenses. All right. Ah, okay. But thank you for the question, Francisco. Very oh, thank you, your teacher. All right, no problem. Anyone else? Okay, let's continue. All right. Remember that um, if you participate in the class, next week I will submit everyone's report. And I write your names down the day you participate. And if you never participate, eh, si usted nunca participa, es lo que voy a poner también. Eh, part, eh, nunca participa en clase o si siempre participa. The report will be done in Spanish. All right, so just remember that. All right, let me see. Okay, thank you, Iris, Freddy, Neftali, and Francisco for your questions and participation in class. Let's continue. Who wants to be Bob? Who wants to be Bob? And who wants to be Daisy? I would like to be Bob. Okay. Okay, Edwin, thank you. Anyone else would like to be Daisy? Okay, I will select someone then. Let me see. Ya que nadie quiere participar, voy a seleccionar. Let me see. Who said me? Someone said me? Doris. Okay, Doris. All right, let me put your name here. Voy a poner su nombre aquí. Porque no la llamé. Thank you, Doris. All right. Erwin, 
and Doris, please begin. Can you okay. read, here, read the conversation, please, Edwin? Yes. Uh, there is no more room in our house for more of our, your gunny soap. Soap. Don't you think soft? Soap. Uh, soap. Okay. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third-party logistics on Google. This service could help you to help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third-party service. To the best of to the best of my knowledge, the soul is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually I thinking of outsourcing the package packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, to get some advice, right? Advice. All right, some advice. So here we have Bob and Daisy, right? And Daisy, like, Bob is like, hey, we need, we need to do this, we need to do that, right? And Daisy's like, no, the business is not too big, right? For a third party logistics. And this is something that Neftali mentioned. He was talking about volume, right? Talking about volume. So it's always good to understand and comprehend what is the capacity of your company before you hire a, a third party logistics, right? Before you can do, you're not gonna get, you're not going to do basically spend your money on third party logistics for something small, right? It has to be something with good volume. Okay, let's continue. Um, Edwin, can you read the number three, please? Yes, teacher. Read the conversation again and answer the questions. All right. Now, one, one person wants to do third party logistics and, and the other is like, no, I'm thinking about outsourcing, right? More like, uh, Outsourcing is a way to subcontract, right? Subcontract, just to do a small contract and say, okay, ship this over here or move this over here instead of spending uh, more on third-party logistics, right? Now, can you read the questions, please? Edwin, continue. Okay, teacher. Uh, number one, are both and Daisy having problems to store their products? Okay. Number two. Do you, number two. Do they know a lot about three, three party logistics? Okay. Number three. Do you think Bo and Daisy will consider prices when hiring a three PL? All right. Do you think Bo and Daisy will consider prices when hiring a three PL? All right. Very good. Very good. Now I want you to answer those questions. And I'm going to give you a few minutes to just so you can analyze them and write them down, right? Do not send them to me, okay? Do not send them to me because we're going to do them together, all right?
All right, Fredis, I sent it to you. All right, let me see. Who is finished? Is anyone finished? Anyone? Yes, yes, teacher. Okay, you're finished, Elmo? All right, mm, not, not yet, teacher. Okay, I'll give you a few more minutes. A few more minutes, then we can do it together. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. <clears throat> okay class let's begin with number one are bob and daisy having problems to store their products what do you think are they having problems or is everything okay yes, yes they are having they have problems. problems yes they have problems yes they have a problem Okay, all right. So, yeah, they don't have um other room okay. in their house, they don't have too much space. 
space, right? Okay. All right. Very good. That is correct. Yes. Right? Yes. So yes, that, I I'm agree. Okay, great. Excellent, right? Yes, they're having difficulties, right? They're having dilemmas. All right. So what about number two? Do they know a lot about 3PLs? What do you think? Do they know a lot? The question say, do they know a no, lot? No, they don't. No, they, no, they don't know. Oh, they only search on the internet about that and they don't know too much. Okay. All right. Very good. Very good. That is correct. All right. Let's see. All right. What about number three? This is open for discussion. All right. There's no correct or incorrect answer here. Do you think Bob and Daisy will consider prices when hiring a 3PL? What do you think? Do you think they will consider it? No, they don't. Okay. All right. Do you think they will consider it though in the future? Yes. Anyone, do you think they will consider it? Um, I consider that uh, it's not a um, way to implicit, but they um, have considered the, the price because they uh, see uh, say that as far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a serial at this service. They think that uh, in the money maybe is not enough to to have um, or to, to hire a third party service. Okay. Very I think good. that not directly. Directly, maybe not. But they think that uh, it's not the moment for to hire a third party service. Okay. Very good. Very good explanation, Juan Jose. All right. Great. Welcome. But, but at first, Daisy gonna gonna choose a couple of company for for get some advice mm -hmm. okay all right very good very good very good yes yeah, she's looking for help now right she's going to go look for some help right hey, why can't you tell me let's contact henry right <laughs> so anyone else Anyone else that would like to give their, this is open for discussion, right? Anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, thank you, Denma hey. and Juan Jose. Uh, teacher? Yes? In my opinion, they have a, a lot of problems because they know, have the in-house conversation to talk about the store uh, so actually they have a problem with the shop with the space and she saw something about the 3 but she she doesn't know a lot and we not they will take a, a bad decision because they only know uh, the 3 exists but they don't know what is exactly in okay very good very good right so there's some uncertainty right there's a doubt here right there's some doubts all right carla thank you for your participation all right now um thank you for those of you that participated right thank you blanca also for your input earlier and doris Juan jose all right, Delma and Carla, thank you for giving your opinions on number three. All right, great. Now, remember that number three is open for discussion. This it was just based on what you thought or what you believed based on the uh, based on the reading. Okay, let me let me go here and get you. to speak a little bit, all right? Let me see. But before before we go in, into this, why don't we... Let's 
so that way we don't stop. Okay. Okay, I'm going to do the second attendance. All right, the second attendance. Ya la primera ya la hice. This is the second one. All right, Abigail. Abigail. Okay. Uh, Blanca. Present. Okay, thank you. Brenda. Okay. Carlos. Carlos. I'm here present the show. Okay, thank you. Doris. Present. Okay, thank you. Edwin. Present. All right, awesome. Francisco. Present teacher. Okay, great. Your teacher. All right, thank you, Freddy. Glenda. Todavía no está aquí, still not here. All right. Iris. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. No estaba en la primera, let me put it here. All right. Okay, thank you, Iris. Jackie. Present. Okay, thank you. Jarvin, okay, you just sent me a message. I hope you get better. Um, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. All right, welcome. Let me see. Thanks. Okay, Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you, welcome. Let me see, Carla. Present. Okay, thank you. Miguel. Miguel. Okay, still not here. Neftali. Present teacher. All right, awesome. Roland. Hello. Hey, all right, all right, Rolando, thank you. Thelma. Present teacher. Okay, great. And Janari. I'm here. All right, thank you. And Alvin, Alvin still not here. All right, let's continue. Now. <laughs> Janari, <laughs> All right. All right. Just like my sister, right? Don't worry about it. All right. Let me see. Um, I'm going to share screen again. All right. Let me see. Okay. What What I want you to do is. I do this little speaking activity just to get you going. All right. It's just going to be six questions. All right. And do you prefer? Do you prefer to work on your own or with other people? Hmm. Are you a person that rather work by themselves or you rather work in groups? And why? Why? Okay. Why? Why? Why will you choose one over the other? All right. What do you like or dislike about the area where you live and why? I've, I've heard some of you talk about where you live and some of the things that are happening and I want you to talk about what do you like or dislike about your area, <clears throat> about where you live and why. All right, how often do you go to the cinema? <clears throat> how often do you go to the cinema? What was the last film you saw? Where are you going to spend your next holidays? So what are the next holidays coming up? What are they? Christmas time. Christmas. Christmas time, right? So where are you going to spend? Do you have plans already? All right. Where are you going to spend them? Why? Are you going to spend them with your family, friends, at a, at a club? Well, you decide, right? And why? Why did you decide? Is there something new you would really like to learn about? Is there something new out there? Anything new, maybe programs, apps? I don't know, uh, is it crypto? Is it uh, a new, another language? Is it maybe new courses by Insofor? They have other new courses available, right? Um, is there something new you would really like to learn about and why, right? Anything that, oh, I like that, Blanca. <laughs> I would do the, I would do that here, but uh, they won't allow me to, right? 
But I appreciate you having the charisma in doing that. All right, Blanca. I'm waiting for the Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I see that. You put a reindeer, right? Do you ever go to concerts? What kind of concerts do you enjoy? Right? If you don't, then you can just say you don't go to any concert. Or if you've been to one, you can talk about it, all right? Some people like it, right? I don't know. It depends on who's coming, right? All right, so I'm getting you to do this because remember that on Wednesday, you have to give your presentation, right? And I want you to continue your speaking abilities and speak in public, speaking with your classmates to get ready for Wednesday, right? Get ready for Wednesday to begin your presentation. So I want to get you motivated and, and, and continue your speaking abilities and giving you something like this. And then we're going to do page, after this activity, we're going to do this page, page 21, right? uncertainty. I believe it's page 22, right. page 22. Let me see. All right, so let's go do this speaking activity in breakout rooms. I'm going to give you some time. Let me see. You can take a screenshot, right? Or I will put it in the group right now. Can be... Teacher, can, can I put it for you? Hmm? Can I put it in the group for you? Ah, yeah, sure, if you want to, no problem. Okay. Let me go to breakout rooms while he's doing that. Okay, you have to do this manually because some cannot do this activity. All right. Thank you. Okay, group number one is going to be hello Abigail. Are you are you able to are you here? Abigail? Are you able to speak on hello Abigail? Okay, no answer. I will leave you out. I will put someone else. Blanca. And... <laughs> it is. And Roland. All right. Room number two will be Edwin. Doris. Carlos. Room number three will be Jackie, Freddy's, and Francisco. Room number four will be Jennifer. I will put Jose. And Carlos. Here. Okay, I will assign. <clears throat> I'm putting the groups right now. Natali, Thelma, and Janari. Hey, Alio. Very good. So three will stay with me. Jarvin, Brenda, and Abigail. You will stay in the main set in the main session. Everyone else, please go to breakout rooms and do this. Uh, answer this question. Speaking only. Speaking only. One, two, three. All right, so the rest of you will stay here with me, and the rest are going to breakout rooms. So when we come back, go and join.
It was a flying concert. Ah. Yeah. From from where from uh from what artist? Or a Korean or... group too. What? A Korean group too. Ah, okay. Okay, very nice. Okay. Let's start with the first question. The okay. Let's start. Do you prefer to work on your own or with other people? Well, I am. I like work with another person. <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy it. But in some occasion, I prefer work alone. It depends to the situations. But I like work in group. How about you? For me, I prefer to, I don't know. I'm very competitive. Uh, it depends, <laughs> it depends the situation. It depends the, 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 the yeah. yeah. I, I For me, I'm very competitive. And well, when I start as a seller woman. Yeah. Uh, uh, for me, it's a competition <laughs> to see who, who sells more. I like to when I work with an with a with a group. I like to be the leader. Yeah, mm. I, I I enjoy nice. be the leader. <laughs> but nice. when when you have one people in the office. The office is a little office, but it, it is for me, uh, I like it. Yeah. And what about you? Okay. Are where you live, why? I try to share the. What the, uh, the place or area we we live. Yes. Well, in my think? case, uh -huh. uh, I like here because in, in the my neighbor neighbor. There are many trees, the weather is cool, a little cool, and the houses are big, not mm -hmm. like um, some neighbors that has a lot of many houses and the people live in a And you? Uh, we are only for who's missing? Juan Jose is missing to talk about what he preferred. <gasps> um, in my case, um, it depends. It depends. Sometimes it's good to work uh, with another people. <laughs> um, uh, I work in a logistic company. I work doing custom procedures for other business. And I always prefer to work alone 
because I have to do, well, if I put a number more or something more, the client has to pay like more insurance, more taxes. So I have to be really concentrated. That's why I prefer, more concentration. I prefer to work it's alone. <laughs> okay. You decide. <laughs> if you like. <laughs> if you like to do that.
have to put stop and record. Stop yeah. and record when when you want. And so if for that reason, I don't like to go to see the cinema. cinema. Yeah. At the cinema. Yeah. It's better than Netflix. <laughs> I finish. I, I I finish the the this this series, but because I I read the manga. Yeah, other yeah. people tell me that that I have to read the manga, but I don't want to. I don't don't like just it? want to watch the series. Mm. No, because when I read the manga, then I don't want to watch the episodes. So I prefer to watch uh, the episodes. Uh, and I would like to be with my family, for example, I'm, I'm waiting for, for the vacation in my company because if they if they bring me the vacation in December, uh, uh -huh. I would like that because it, I, I, I would like because I'm going to be with my family in December. I would yeah. like to be with that there. It, it, on holidays, everyone wants to be with their relators, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you especially, have... especially on Christmas, because Christmas I think is the best holiday ever, you know. Yes, yes, yes. In Christmas I, you have to, to I enjoy think, the, the time. I don't know for you guys if, if do you think there is another holiday they could they, they, they could be better than Christmas. Yeah, and for example, to to do to do something like watch a movie like Mi Pobre Angelito. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. La uno o la dos? Eh, la dos. <laughs> <laughs> sí. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I don't, I don't want to be pessimist, but well, is the problem of security is a big deal to me and for all of or for many people too that's why i uh, i hope uh, to be alive in the next holiday um i hope to spend that holiday with my family and to have a really good time with them because I think that the most important thing in our lives should be our family because they are so important to me. You are living with your family? No. Oh. No, I'm not. Okay. And you? I prefer stay in my house. Um, you you born did you born in other country maybe? Huh? Turco? Are you Turco? <laughs> no, no, I'm Salvadorian. Okay. Exclusive. But I spent in food. I spent in things for my for my son. I spent uh, in other things, but I don't spend in out. Or maybe uh, Medicine. To our, to our <laughs> because in 2016, yeah, I think 
In 2015, I go out, I, I, I travel to Indonesia, Indonesia. Oh, yeah. I would like to, yeah. to know Indonesia. Yeah. I would I like to know, uh, to, uh, I would like to, to visit um, Islas Griegas. Ooh, it's my oh. dream. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to have some, some but, I, Ricardo, and after that you buy a you buy a, a beer, just one. A beer. Uh -huh. Yeah, just one, and you pour on it. Okay. Uh, a, a big beer. Um, no, no, a small one. Ah, okay. I want that cost a dollar. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And you pour on it, and then you cook it with it. Not, it's not so hard. It's not so hard, yeah. Okay. But. Ready is is the the meat is a little um, hard. No. Or is to cook. It will take uh, more than three hours. No, it will take you around like let's say maybe an hour and forty five minutes. But where you have to put the oven at two fifty degrees. Ah uh, yeah yeah it it's better if you cook or oven in a in tile or on uh, small pieces no you have to put it complete complete oh yeah. yeah like a turkey yeah like a turkey you could put it if you want you could put anything inside of it you could put um, some or whatever you want to put inside of it. Uh -huh. wait me it's raining i'm going <laughs> you say it's raining it's possible yes it's raining then she said it was raining that's weird in my house is a the sorry, wind sorry. Is a, it's a little
Okay, welcome back everyone. I hope you did a lot of speaking with your fellow classmates and managed to give your own opinions and your, your own insights pertaining to the questions. Now, um, we will continue. Let me close this. All right. I'm going to share. We will go. All right. Now, let me see this part right here. With regards to this, let me see. All right. We will do a little bit of pertaining to this. I will give you a little bit of time here in class, but let's do something of the, your book. All right, page 21. Page 21. Um, I'm sorry, page 22. Page 22. Okay, page 22. Can you begin reading, please? Um, Me, teacher? Me, teacher. Can okay, I? go ahead. Yes, please. Who? Um, yeah, I can split. Who was it? Jackie and who was the other person? Eran dos. Me. Who was me? Jennifer. Jennifer, all right. Okay, Jackie, you can do this part right here. And then Jennifer mm -hmm. will do this part right here. Okay? Okay, Jackie. Okay. Okay, from the beginning, right? Yes, yes, please. Okay, how to use expressions of or say uncertain. Look at examples in the box, then complete the exercises below. Expressions of or say uncertain. Uncer I use uncertainty. Un uncertainty. Uncertainty. I use when you need to say that you are not certain about something or that something may or may not be true or when you have incomplete knowledge about a situation. Okay, so you here, okay, let me just pause you for a minute. You will continue, hold on. Um, we're going to look at some of these expressions. Remember, these are expressions. They are not just one word. No es solo una palabrita. They are expressions. They are phrases. Okay. Sometimes it, it could be short. Sometimes it could be a little bit longer. But they express an uncertainty, a doubt. Okay. It's a dudas. All right. Something that you, you might have some kind of a, like, okay, it might not be true. It might, nah, maybe not. Right. Or, something that you have incomplete knowledge of. In other words, you don't have all the information, okay? Therefore, you cannot give a, a, a profound statement because you do not know everything. So you have either you doubt knowledge or you doubt the information, right? Some people can say, well, I don't understand a lot of it, so you don't know much, so you have doubt. Or some people can say, okay, I didn't receive all the information. Therefore, I cannot say or validate if it's true or not, all right? So continue, please, uh, Jackie. Okay, use a comma after the expression of uncertain. When, the, when they precede a clause. Precede, precede. Precede a clause, thank you. Precede okay. Precede a clause. Very good, continue. And, okay. I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but the credit, but the current financial situation may lead to life of. Okay, layoffs, layoffs. Lay, layoffs. Okay, this is an important word. What is layoffs? Layoff, okay, layoff. Uh-huh, what does that um, mean? Que significa? What does it mean? What is layoffs? In diseños? Huh? No, but thank you. In the business world. 
the it, speedos teacher yes it's like Let, that is yes, yes right layoffs means you are you're not fired okay no está despedido por si así but it's similar telma layoffs means that you are laid off till they call you okay temporarily right they uh, puede darse yes yes it, okay yes okay. it could it could Thelma. but um layoff is when they tell you okay you're laid off and they might say for three months they no might say, yeah pretty much right Mira, ahorita no te, no te, te necesitamos, so you're laid off right and like when like, you're temporarily contracted yes exactly right now this happens a lot Pasa bastante en Estados Unidos. It happens a lot in the United States. So don't think that it doesn't happen over there. It happens a well, lot. The pandemic, uh, yes. Well, the same in here. Yes. There, they, you, you get laid off, right? Yeah. And then you have to go to the Department of Unemployment, <laughs> right? And you have to look for a job. They will help you. But when the company lays you off, um, prácticamente uno no está como... No hay ningún ministerio que lo ayude, right? You're laid off, you're laid off. Too bad, right? We're sorry, but we have to lay you off. There's some, um, eh, a lot of companies are protected. Muchas compañías están protegidas bajo este reglamento de layoff, right? You don't get to see, like, for example, the Ministry of Labor, el Ministerio de Trabajo llegar ahí, hey, ¿por qué lo de este? No, 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 right? Layoffs, when a company has those uh, rules, esas reglas implementadas, when you go work for them, you already understand those rules and regulations. The same goes with people that work temporarily, right? Hay trabajos temporales also, right? That they hire you for three months or six months, and after that, bye-bye, right? Until next year. But layoffs can lead, right? Like Telma said, they can lead to getting fired, but... Ya cuando uno ya despedido, ya es algo diferente, right? And there you get some benefits, right? Ahí se beneficios, right? But when you're laid off, you just temporarily in pause till the company gets better or the circumstances get better. And someone mentioned the pandemic, right? That is totally correct, right? Totally correct. Um, during the pandemic, the airlines, when it first started, right? When it first started, a lot of the American airlines they laid off all their personnel porque no podían salir ni entrar ningún via, uh, no airplane, right? So they couldn't keep paying these people if they weren't working. So they laid them off. Right? They laid them off. Okay, let's continue. Jackie? Did, did we get any report on when to expect the product? B. Not to my knowledge. I think they are delayed. As for as I know, most companies selling goods use a TPL for at least some domestic function. Functions. Function. All right, we have an S at the end, right? You have to, yes, sir. All right, so functions, functions. right? Funciones. So we have a conversation here, right? I wouldn't like to say this for certain, right? So he's like, I wouldn't like to say this for certain, right? So he's not 100% sure, but the current financial situation may lead to layoffs, right? And the first people that, that most company layoffs are the ones that are just entering, the newcomers. Um, and then he says, did we get any report on what to expect on the product? Not to my knowledge. Not my reconocimiento, not to my knowledge, right? I think they are delayed. I think you're not sure, right? Yo pienso, quizás, right? As far as I know, most companies selling goods use a 3PL for like some domestic function. As far as I know, right? As far as I know, these are expressions of uncertainty, of uncertainty. Okay, Jennifer, can you read the next part, please? Yes, teacher. I doubt and it's very unlikely don't need to be followed by comma. 
I doubt it is a good idea to hire a third part logistic if you need to control the safety of your company's shipments. It's very unlikely for a medium-sized business to be able to do shipping on its own. Okay, very good. So we have some more here. I doubt, right? Lo dudo, right? It's very unlikely, right? Es poco probable, right? Que no se va a dar algo. It's very unlikely. I doubt, again, it's very unlikely. You can use it at the beginning of the sentence or you can combine them, all right? It's very unlikely and I doubt you can include both, okay? You can include both in one sentence to give a more emphasis of uncertainty, of uncertainty. Now, we have five sentences here, five sentences here. Now, remember, we're focusing on uncertainty. So look at these, and I'm going to give you a few minutes to circle the correct word or write the correct word and send it to me, all right? If you have your book already printed, ya lo tiene impreso, all you have to do is circle, circle, right? Because those are the instructions, circle, all right? Circle the correct expression, all right? For those of you that still, para aquellos que todavía no han impreso, uh, you haven't printed your book, I want you to write one, two, three, four, and five, Right. I want you to write the numbers and then write the correct phrase or the correct expression. Right. Please put your numbers and your name. I want you to put your name. Right. Please send it with your name. This will be in class activity. Okay, in class activity number, since this is a writing part, is going to be number two. In class activity number two for unit two. Class activity number two. Writing. Expressions. Uncertainty. Page 21. All right. Now remember, if you have your book, print it. All you have to do is circle and send me a picture. Okay? With your name, please. Please send it to me. Do not send it to the group. Send it to me. Okay? Please send it to me personally.
Okay, thank you, Neftali. Thank you, Rolando. Doris. Ten more. Okay, Telma, hello. Can you look at, uh, please look at the examples, okay? Look at the examples right here. Okay, look at the examples to guide you. If you have any questions, just look at the examples and then after you look at the examples, you do not get the correct answer, then uh, I, will, I will let you know the difference when I, when I correct them. Okay, Fredis, Janari. All right, let me see. Edwin, <clears throat> let me see. Okay. But you did the correct one, Thelma. You did the correct one. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me see. Okay, class. I will check it. Let me see. Let me write the names. Erwin. Natali. Rolando. Doris, Thelma, Janari, Redis, y creo que esos son todos. Ok, no problem. Iris, alright, Iris, thank you for sending it. Ok, 2, 4, 6, 8, 8 de 18. Alright, 8 of 18. Alright. If you don't, if you didn't finish, you can send it to me, right? And for those of you that will send it, I will write it on my uh, activity that you did it, right? Activity number two in class. Okay, let's continue. And what I have here for you is, um, what I would like is for you to take the time now remember when are we going to do the presentations the logistics presentation what day did we decide is it tomorrow no wednesday exactly right it's wednesday and thursday right wednesday and thursday all right wednesday and um i agree with my <laughs> yes, <right? Classmate. laughs> yeah, Wednesday and Thursday, right? Now remember, Wednesday and Thursday, uh, you will you will do your presentations. Now remember, it is still open, all right? If anyone decides not to do it, all you have to do is tell me, okay? All you have to do is tell me. Uh, do not wait till the day to tell me, oh, teacher, I'm not going to do it because I have, a re I will assign the list, right? I will assign the list. Now, remember the, the things that I have mentioned, right? That, that there will be a first place and second place winner. 
and there will be two there will be prices right there will be prices and in order for you to qualify for the price You must give a, a good presentation, right? You 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 have to give a presentation. How long is the presentation going to be? Approximately how many minutes, class? Five, five, three minutes. Minutes. five minutes. Five right? minutes. Five minutes, right? Five minutes. Now I could give or take one minute. It's okay. If a little bit more, a little bit less, there's no problem. But do not come with a two-minute presentation, and do not come with a ten-minute presentation. Okay, if you go beyond that, you will automatically be excluded from the price. Okay, because I have set a time frame. If you want to come, you can stay here for 10 minutes, there's no problem. But you will not qualify for the price because you're taking too much time. And remember that there are other classmates that need to do their presentations also. All right, so do not overtake all the time right, practice practice it on your own also right you can you can do rehearsals and see how much you will actually take to give your presentation right? if it's less than five minutes i could i could tolerate one or two minutes right but if you go like 10 minutes ah, okay it's a little too much and and that's not what i'm asking for all right remember it will, uh, let me give you an example If if you how many of you well imagine that your boss tells you mira tenemos una hora libre para dar una charla sobre la empresa I need you Freddy's to give uh, maybe 30 minutes right maybe not not an hour but maybe 30 minutes mira nos han dado espacio aquí en el tropical or in el Sheraton right and you have 30 minutes to give your presentation to a lot of investors. Van a venir inversionistas y tú eres el mejor, Freddy. You have 30 minutes. Prepara una presentación de 30 minutos. Freddy, si tú vas ahí y te tardas una hora, ¿qué va a pasar? Lo voy a aburrir. One, right? Secondly, el espacio te lo dieron para 30 minutos, right? ¿A quién crees que le van a venir cobrando los extra 30 minutes? To the boss. Al boss, right? ¿Y el boss qué va a hacer contigo? It might be fire me. <laughs> o te, de, o te despido, te descuenta, right? One of the two, right? Remember, you have to be punctual, right? You have to be able to 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 understand that in business, in economics, in numbers, time is relevant. El tiempo es relevante. Always, right? Let me give you another example. Um, if you if you if they tell you come to work a las ocho entras de la mañana what happens if you come at 8 45 or ocho y media what happens nothing nada pasa you don't think nothing happens here in el salvador all right yeah they, they, they discount right now remember time is relevant when you're talking about business business in economics in in in, in work anything re related to work even internationally oh que no sea internacional llega uno tarde uy right uh, it's very very important very important so you have to be able to establish yourself and discipline yourself to respect the time frame right now i now with time is very important why, why did i mention work and everything because it's all related it's all related right it's all about discipline it's all about discipline i i told you before that i used to work for a private school a private college right there at the, a la tercera, at the third time you're late te des cuenta. right third three times you're late in a month you get a day discount Un día con a day discount, right? And they passed it out and you have to sign, right? Firme aquí que ya recibió. Así no vaya a llorar después, right? So you sign it, right? So now, I'm just giving you some examples for experience, right? So try to do something related to work 
here because we're talking about Inglés para el Trabajo, right? This is English for Work program. So five minutes to six minutes, seven minutes, okay, I can tolerate. But if you go beyond that, eh, eso, me va, eso me va a demostrar que no, no hizo rehearsal. Nomás entró a la clase y esperando que diera todo y no se disciplinó a ver el tiempo, right? Remember, discipline is everything, right? Um, if, if, um, let me ask you something. Let me ask something. Juan Jose. Hey. Juan Jose, hello, Juan Jose. Hello. Um, you work, uh, you give classes at universities, right? Yes. Okay, great. All right. Now, what would happen, Juan Jose? ¿Qué pasaría? What would happen if when you finish the class, las clases son de una hora y cuarenta minutos, si no me equivoco, right? Eh, de dos, eh, casi de dos horas, right? The classes? Yeah. All right. De depends, right? But I know for licenciatura, it's about two hours, right? What would happen, and they give you a key, right? Le dan la llave del aula, right, Juan Jose? When it's presencial, yes. Yes, right. Uh, and when they give you the key, and they tell you, a esta hora tiene que terminar la clase porque va a llegar otro profesor, you cannot say, oh, espérame que no he terminado, espérame unos 20 minutos más. You can't, right? Back in all, Juan Jose. No. You can't, right? Porque el otro está esperando que los otros alumnos de él de entren, right? So, in, in everything that we do, in everything that we do, time is very important, right? Time is very important. So, yeah. if you spend 10 minutes, what you're taking, what you're saying is, yo quiero mis 20 minutos para mí y los demás que se esperen. Es lo que me va a dar mostrar a mí. And that's not what this is about, right? And this is not about individual, like, I want everyone to hear me for 20 minutes. No, please, five, seven minutes, rehearse your presentation. Rehearse. What does rehearse mean? ¿Qué quiere decir rehearse? Does anyone know? I'm saying the word, right? Rehearse. Rehearse. Does anyone know what it means? No. No? I don't remember. <laughs> no, teacher. Tell okay. us. Tell us what okay. is the meaning. Rehearse is when you are when you are practicing, right? For example, if you have to give um have you ever alguna vez han ensayado ustedes en el en el colegio algo en una drama or something in a drama? Yes, it's a like ensayo. Yes, yeah, exactly, right? Yes, what I say. That is correct. So, ensayar, estar practicando, ensayando Para, para llevar ese tiempo, right? That's what it means, right? So if it's always good to practice, say, okay, me estoy tardando mucho, ya llevo 15 minutos hablando. So you have to you have to summarize some things, right? You cannot divert yourself into into things that they're probably not as important as your main course, your your main idea of your topic, right? Your main idea of your topic. Excuse me, Freddy. Spell the word. The, the word rehearse? Rehearse, yes. Okay. I will, you want me to send it to you here or? If you want to spell it, I'll be writing it right here. Okay. R E H. I'll write it for the class. All right. Since you mentioned it, I'll write it here. All right. Yes, it's better. <laughs> All right. I'll write it here for everyone. Can you see it? I'm going to make it bigger for you. All right. Mm. Uh, um, rehearse, rehearse, rehearse. Okay, let me make it bigger. Okay, is that better? This is, esto es la práctica, right? The practice that you do, el ensayo that you do, the, the, to understand your time limits. Right. right, but this is the act. Yeah. All right, this is the act of practice. All right, rehearse. The act of practice. All right. Remember. Uh, right. 
This is a verb, okay? Es un verbo. It's a verb. So it's the act of practice, all right? We also have a, un ensayo que es algo escrito, que es un noun. That is a noun, all right? Eh, se le llama ensayo también, pero en realidad eh, escrito. Esto se le llama essay. Y esto es un noun. It's not a verb. This is a noun. Esto es algo. It's an object. Es algo escrito. All right? It's an essay. Se le llama essay. ¿Alguna vez hicieron ensayos eh, en su nivel educativo? Right? The essay. Right? It's a noun. I wrote an essay. All right? It's different from rehearse. Aunque es similar, pero tiene diferente meaning. Ensayo, ensayar, la actuación, or something written. También es algo escrito. Que uno hace la introducción, el body, y la conclusion. Ese es un ensayo, un essay. Essay. Right? I'm just giving you more information here. But rehearse is the act of practice. El, el acto de la práctica. The act of practice. Or the art of practice, right? El arte de la práctica, you can say it too. All right, great. All right. Now remember, five minutes. Five minutes. Give or take. Give or take two. No. Give or take one. Give or take one. What does that mean, give or take? If someone tells you this, give or take, what does it mean? Hmm. You can be or you can do lose your partner name. Hmm. Give or take one paper for the order. Hmm. Okay. Thank you, Carlos. Give or take one minute. All right. Give or take means puede ser uno, uno menos o uno más. Right? So if you focus on four, you can do it for four or you can do it for six. Right? The main number is five. But if you want to do a four minute, right? Four minute, four to six minutes. Right? That, el variante. that is the variant. Four to six minutes max. All right, four to six minutes max. I want to hear you for about four to six minutes. All right. I will time you, okay? Si lo llevaré el tiempo. All right, I will time you. I will time you. All right, so when I say begin, I will begin my, my, my clock here. And then I'm not going to say nothing, okay? Yo no le voy a decir nada. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to clock it when you start. And then when you say, thank you for your time, I'm finished. I will clock it when you finish. All right. And then I'm going to write it down. All right. I'm going to take notes. Tomaré notas de cada una de la presentación. And I'm going to take the time. I'm going to put the time on the side. Now, um, uh, cameras on. Cameras on. Teacher, All I right. have a question about the cameras. Okay. If someone share the presentation from the cell phone and when they share the presentation can use the camera, what happened in that case? Okay. Um, if you share a screen, you can still use the camera. Yeah, but it's not available when are you presenting. Okay, well, you can if do you it. Are, what you can do, awesome. what you, okay, what you can do, Jennifer, para acomodarles a algunos que tienen dificultad con esto, send it to me. Send it to oh. me, okay? You can send it to me, and then when you give your presentation, yo la voy a present, I will uh, put it here. You uh, can share it. Yes, I will share it. Y ahí no hay ningún inconveniente. There won't be no okay. inconvenience, no le va a aumentar ni quitar. A la calificación. So don't worry about that. If you want to send it to me, con gusto. 
I will gladly do it for you. Okay? okay thank you so much. Teacher. All right. Very good. Now, if I say cameras on, this is only for price. All right? Esto no va a ser para el, para el premio. All right? If you say, teacher, no voy a encender mi cámara, no problem. All right? No va a ir en contra porque siempre le voy a poner que hizo la actividad. All right? Eh, if you tell me that you that you don't want the camera, you still you are still I will still put. Siempre pondré que la hizo, si la hizo de buena manera, if you did it correctly and all that, right? And that will not go against you. This is only for the price, right? So if you do not have your camera on, you are automatically excluded for the price. All right? It comes it comes from me. All right. It doesn't come from the administration. It comes from me. It's just uh, you decide. It's up to you. Right? It's up to you. Lo dejo a criterio de ustedes. Right? If you want to just do it, but don't want to win the prize, then you can have the camera on. All right. You can have it off. Right? It's up to you. Um, let me see what else. First and second place. Va a haber un primero y segundo ganador. First and second place. All right. When you win, I will notify you. All right. I will call you. I will call you. All right. When you win. And then I'm going to let the class know. Y después voy a ser transparente. I'm going to let the class know quién ganó. First and second. Right? Aquí en vivo, en su presencia. All right? So they won't be like, oh, teacher, no, no, these were right. No, I'm going to tell you personally with the students here, the ones that won. All right? And now, after I put this here, let me see. All right. I'm going to give you a little bit of time, maybe just any questions here, maybe a few minutes that we have left, about five minutes, that tomorrow I will give you more time, okay? Tomorrow I will give you at least 30 minutes so you can uh, continue in progress and ask me any questions tomorrow, right? Now remember, you can ask me questions, but I'm not going to be telling you how to do it. Right? No le voy a estar dando como todo. Right? You have to be able to do a lot of it of your, on your own. Right? If I see a little bit of grammar or mistakes, I will let you know. But for the most part, I'm not going to be like, um, hey, uh, ponle esto. No, put this, put this. No, right? I can tell you some of the things that needs to get done, but I'm not going, I'm not going to add the information for you. All right? Now, these are some points. Esto ya lo miramos ayer, I mean, I guess, I never took a class. Uh, Friday, we saw this on Friday, right? I gave you time on Friday to work. And these are some of the things that you must have. Inbound, outbound, or third-party logistics, or a combination, all right? You have to create a logistical plan. Tienen que crear un plan. Now, um... I mentioned on Friday, right, that you can write a lot, usted puede escribir lo que, or however much you want, right? But at the time of the presentation, no quiero ver todo ese gran libro ahí. Right? I do not want to see uh, that all those sentences, all right? Así no se hacen las presentaciones, right? You can put points, puede poner algunos puntos, or maybe letters or something. A, B, C, D, and then add some key points. But I do not want to see, eh, no quiero ver algo así como aquí, esto, like something like this, right? For every explanation, right? When you do uh, a presentation about a topic, all right? You do, I do not want to see all that. Porque ¿qué va a pasar? Sure. ¿Qué va a pasar? What's going to happen? 
que normalmente cuando alguien pone todo en escrito, es que no más va a llegar a leer. That's what, that's what is happening. All right? You're just going to go read. Uh, we believe that we blah, 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 blah. And all you're going to do is read, right? That's not, that's not what I want. Right? Se lo dije desde el inicio. I do not want that. Now, you can write it all out. Lo puede escribir todo para su propio bien. But I do not want to see all that. All right? I want to see, like, pictures, maybe some points, puntos, some key points, right? Key points. And maybe you can watch uh, maybe some, some YouTube videos on how to give a good presentation, right? How to give a good presentation. Now, You're going to talk about this. What I want you to do is talk about it. You can give a key point. For example, usted puede escribir outbound logistics, right? Escribe point A, uh, outbound logistics, boom. And then you talk about it, right? Our company is going to do outbound logistics. Usted está creando este plan. Debe saber lo que va a decir. You have to be able to speak what you have planned, right? For example, how many of you have seen speeches? Eh, presentaciones que nomás llevan como un papelito. Right? A little paper like this, and they just flip, flip. They don't have everything writing, como un libro, right? It's just a little page where you just write some key points, and that's your presentation, your uh, your oral presentation, right? I want it to be colorful. I want it to have designs. I want the part one, right? La parte uno. What was part one? ¿Qué constituye part one? The slogan, the name of the company, the position in the company. Very good. And the logo, right? The logo and the slogan. Very good. Yes, that is correct. Teacher, um, we have to talk about all the things in just five minutes. Look, um, Jennifer, you have to talk about one plan of logistics. Is it inbound, outbound, or third party? or a combination if you want to do a combination, okay? On the, on the next point, you have to talk about your, pro is it a product or a service? Es un producto o un servicio? Number two, you have to estimate the cost. ¿Se acuerda cuando le di la presentación de, about the alcohol, gallons of alcohol? You remember that? That I talked about the gallons, right? Give me something brief, algo breve, sobre el cost and profit. And direct or indirect distribution. Are you doing direct or indirect distribution? And then propose improvements. Si usted le da un minuto a cada uno de estos, ahí se le va los, 30, los cinco minutos. Ahí está. Five minutes, right? The five minutes, right? Okay, teacher, thank you. Okay, and now to give your presentation on part one, That's like 20 seconds. Ahí nomás 20 segundos, because no va a hablar del logo, no va a hablar de, del slogan, no más lo va a presentar. All right? You can say, okay, this is our company. Iba a dar el nombre. My name is, right? Uh, you can say, for example, Jennifer, and I'm the CEO of Oriente Enterprise. Right? I am the, ya dijo, I am the CEO, el nombre de la compañía. Y ya el slogan lo podemos ver nosotros, right? You don't have to say, oh, y nuestro slogan es No, as long as you show it. Contar que lo enseñe, that's it. And the logo, right? Remember that when companies, cuando empresas, they show the logo or, or, a, or something outdoor, cuando usted entra no le dice, mire, ese es el logo de nosotros. That's our logo, right? And this is our slogan, right? No, it's already there for you to see, for you to see, right? For you to see. Or when a company sends a letter, cuando una empresa manda una carta administrativa, ¿qué le pone? ¿No le pone el sello de la empresa? ¿No le pone quién la está mandando? ¿El puesto? Membrete. Yeah, right? It says gerente y el nombre, right? Y luego dice empresa, tal, 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 right? And then it has a seal at the end. Exactly, right? That's why it's important to understand that when you do something like this, no es que hablar del logo, no es que hablar del slogan, sino que ya lo tiene que representar. Show it, right? That's all it is, to show it here, and then you present yourself. 
All right, now tomorrow we will practice a little bit more. I'm going to give you more time. All right, we will do about 30 minutes of this so I can go in detail, more in depth, what you have to do. Pero para ahora ya tienen que saber, is it a product or a service? Select one. All right. No se compliquen y empiecen a hablar de producto, de servicio, de, de, de warehousing, of, uh, uh, of different types of logistics que no hemos ni mencionado aquí. Right? Don't complicate yourself. Don't complicate yourself. Don't talk about how you went on a, on, on a shopping spree with a company and then you went overseas y empieza a desviarse del tema de la logística. All right? That's, that also uh, recommend you do not do that. And remember, propose improvements. Al final, give like 30 seconds, unos 20, 30 segundos, about improvements, right? What do you propose you need to do for improving your company? You decide. Is it value? Is it price? Is it quantity? I don't know. You tell me. A good service teacher. Yeah, maybe, right? Something, right? Something. Maybe more access to to digital platforms, right? Maybe. It depends. Okay, class. Yes. Sometimes right. it's, it's better a good service that you have a low price. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, right? Exactly. Now, I'm going to take the final attendance. Uh, I guarantee you tomorrow I will give you plenty of time to answer some of your questions. Remember, I want it in PowerPoint. PowerPoint presentation. You have to also learn how to use technology. Become familiarized with technology. Let me see. Abigail? Abigail? Okay. Blanca? Blanca? Present. Thank you. Brenda. Okay. Carlos. I'm here present teacher. Thank you. Doris. Present. Thank you. Edwin. Present. Thank you. Francisco. Present teacher. All right. Thank you. Freddy. Here teacher. Thank you. Glenda. Glenda. Okay, she didn't connect to day zero. Um, Iris. Present teacher. Thank you. Jackie. Present. Thank you. Jarvin. Okay, let me see if you're still here. Yeah, you are. Okay, Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Juan Jose. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Carla. Present. Thank you. Uh, Miguel. Miguel. Miguel, okay, he didn't connect, zero. Neftali. Present teacher. Thank you. Rolando. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Telma. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Janari. I'm here. Okay, thank you. And Alvin. Alvin, okay, he didn't connect. Zero. All right, great. Okay, class, the person that stays today is Iris. Everyone else, I'll see you tomorrow. I will look at your answers and tomorrow we'll continue and I will give you more time tomorrow to prepare for the presentation. Okay? See you tomorrow. Okay. Have a good night, okay. class. Thank Take you. Care. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, photos. Okay. Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night. All right. Good night. Let me take some of these. Remove. Let me take some of these people out. Uh, uh, let me see. Okay. Let me get some of these people out. And. All right. Hello, Iris. How are you? Okay. Hi. All right. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad to see you here. And I know we probably ran a little bit late, but you know, I have to give a little bit more explanation, right, about the activity. So.
So I'm glad you're here, Iris. Do you have any questions? This is extra 10 minutes for you. About the activity uh, presentation. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me let me share screen. All right. Okay, uh, it is. What seems to be your question? Um, you mentioned in Friday, in class Friday, that about book, book financial or financial book. Mm -hmm. It's it the book book financial is about estimate the cost of cost of profit. I think. Yeah, depending on what you're going to sell, right? On on Friday, I show I gave an example about um, if I were to send a hundred gallons of of alcohol, right, for the pandemic, right, and I was buying them at three dollars, and the logistics, I was doing the math, right, a hundred dollars for gas, a um, hundred dollars to pay the person, and then the food. Right, and I did that expenses, right? And then what I paid plus expenses, it gave me a number, right? Let me, you want me to write it again, Iris? Yes, please. Okay, so I, I was saying that I, for example, okay, this is, uh, my company is uh, Henry's Enterprise, right? And I'm going to sell, or well, I did the logistics to transport, and I'm doing outbound logistics, right? I'm doing outbound logistics, significa de aquí para allá, from here to there. And I'm going to, no, you know what? I'm going to change it. It is, I'm going to do third party logistics, right? I like the third party, third party logistics, right? Third party logistics, right? And I'm going to pay someone. No quiero ir yo, right? I don't want Henry's company, right? Henry's Enterprise, right? That is that is my uh, my company name, Henry's Enterprise, right? And and I'm going to talk about the third party logistics. Okay, so I have a product. I want to start with the product, right? A product or service is a product, right? I need to send. A hundred, a hundred gallons of alcohol, right? But I paid, I paid, I paid for each gallon three dollars, right? Yo pagué por cada galón tres dólares. I paid three dollars, right? I paid three dollars. So how much do I have here? Three hundred, right? So I have three hundred dollars worth of uh, gas of uh, alcohol and it, the cost that is the cost right look at compre the cost right the expenses it was a uh, hundred dollars for gas a hundred dollars for payment to pay the guy right pay the carrier carrier right carrier and then maybe $20 for other expenses. Now, aquí me estoy tardando porque lo estoy escribiendo también, right? Pero como usted, you're going to have all this already, right? And then, total, ¿cuál es el total aquí de expenses? $220, right? $220, right? $100, $100, $100 más $20 is $220. So sumamos esos 220, 220, plus lo que yo gasté. How much did I spend? ¿Cuánto me costó el producto? ¿Tiris? ¿Ah? 300. Yes, all right, 300. So what is my total, my total expenses is five, 520, right? Total expenses. 
Ahora, sí, yo no lo puedo vender a 3 dólares, ¿verdad que no? Perdería 220 dólares. Ni a 4 dólares, right? Lo puedo vender, right? Si lo, lo vendo, lo compré a 4 y lo vendo a 4. Uh, I bought it for 3 dólares, right? And I sell it for 4. Son 400. Right? Y el total de expense me sale 520. What? No gano, estoy perdiendo. So, aquí es donde viene la logística. ¿Cuánto debería venderlo? El producto. Ahí usted determina. Entonces yo dije que unos 10 dólares, ¿verdad? Right? Cada galón, que son ¿cuánto? 10% son 1000. Entonces, 1000 menos 520. Me queda un profit de... ¿De qué? 480. Ese es mi profit. Esa es mi ganancia. ¿Vale? Pero para obtener esta ganancia, ¿qué tuve que hacer? Venderlos a 10 dólares cada uno. En esta explanación, vamos a presentarla también. Ok, you can... Yes. Ese análisis. Yes, porque está aquí. Aquí dice, estimate cost and profit. Number two. Pero no quiero que se vayan. Ok, vamos a, su, vamos a, a quitar 300. No, I don't want you to be. I'm explaining it to you para explicarle like a teacher, right? But what you give, you just say, ok, our expenses are. ¿Cuánto are expenses? 520, right? And I'm going to sell it at $10, which will give me $1,000 of a profit of 480, right? ¿Cuánto me tardé ahí para decir eso? 20 segundos. Right? 20 seconds. So you're going to say, okay, you can say the cost was $300 for the product. And expenses was, was $220, right? For a total of $520. And I'm going to sell the product at $10. And my profit is $480. Right? right? Ahí ya terminó la parte 2. And then you're going to say, And I'm going to do this, it is direct distribution. From, from, from the company to the customer, right? Y como así, teacher, como a customer, right? I can say, okay, I'm going to put the truck at the side of the park and say, gallons of, of alcohol for $10, right? Pague 12, 15, aquí, allá, aquí 10. Come and get it. Right? You just sell it. You just sell it. Right? Now, for pro, uh, proposed improvements, right? Proposed improvements. I can say, okay, my proposal for improvements are, o puede ser uno, right? Is, I need to, I need another worker. So we can go to different parts of El Salvador and distribute not 100, but maybe 300, 300 gallons of uh, alcohol per week, per week. So I want to expand, right? That could be a proposal for improvement, or I can say I need to uh, use more social media usar más social media para mejorar mi logística. Mm. All right. Wanna, All right. Wanna improve for company. Yes, for the company. All right, for the company, right? To grow, para crecer. Uh, do not tell me eh, recursos humanos. No, 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 right? Eso es internal, right? How would, you exp how would you better the company for your logistics, right? To buy more, maybe... Um, contract a cheaper company or rent or maybe get a cheaper truck right or maybe use something that that uses maybe diesel instead of regular gasoline that is cheaper right those types of things what can you do to improve para mejorar proposals for the for the company right remember los proposals para qué eran se acuerda cuando yo le dije algunos proposals era para diminish Diminish, diminish cost 
para disminuir el costo. Para eso se mejoran las empresas, para mejorar el gasto. To do the right logistics, right? Because we say, okay, ¿y por qué están mandando un, una, una van que usa regular gas when you can get one for diesel? And it's cheaper, right? Ah, ahí uno va bajando las. You use your, uh, you're lowering your expenses, right? Lowering your expenses, right? So some people say routes, algunas rutas, right? Some people, do you know people? Yo conozco gente, right? I know people that can say, no, ¿y para qué vas a dar la gran vuelta? ¿Por qué no te vas por aquí, right? Es que yo no conozco, right? But other people do. They know routes, right? Unas rutas, different routes, routes, right? So that would diminish cost also, right? No, hombre, mira, si te vas por la litoral, or for this one, right? Uh, it, uh, different routes, routes, then you can diminish cost, disminuir el costo. That's what this is for, the improvement, right? It's not about, oh, hay que mejorar para contratar más personal. Yeah, but more into the outside, all right? The logistics outside, in, in el terreno, in the terrain, right? Okay. It, the, maybe change the location who will be. Uh, yeah, ah, there you go. Geographic, right? Like geografía, right? You could be like, hasta allá, hasta le, woo, Right? You're way out there, right? And maybe you need to be closer. Closer, right? Yes. Those are different points. Thanks. Okay. I just gave you a little bit more extra. Okay. Uh, it is thank you for staying this extra time okay and i'll see you tomorrow it is thank you Bye. okay good night it is thank you for your time and thank you for participating in class okay good night